as you're probably sensing with Data Studio, it's you can kind of play around with the charts, right? There's a lot of visual feedback. You can change settings, switch the chart type, really play around with the styling of things. But the thing that you can't play around with is the setup of your data, how you have data configured, um, and, and kind of how your foundation is laid. Because if you don't lay the foundation correctly, you won't be able to make charts. It just won't, it won't work and it'll be very frustrating. So another kind of foundational element of setting up your data in the right way with Data Studio is what, what's called calculated metrics or calculated columns. So if you go to the, um, if you go to the side, if you're in the sidebar and you click on your metrics, you can always click create new metric which will actually take you back to this metrics tray that we had before, right? It won't, it, it can do a lot more than just create the new metric. It'll, it'll take you into all of your metrics. And this is the same tray. You know, we see we have our fields here, date, username, followers, etc. This is the same tray where you can actually create um, completely new columns using something very similar to Google Sheets formulas. Um, so if you go to this, plus button here. Um, we can just say, let's add a test field. Don't worry about that ID. Um, and then for formula, you can really say anything. It's not any of these. So uh, any of the like average or sum um, or uh, you can do like case case statements that we'll get into later. You can if you scroll through here and you just type in one letter, you'll see count distinct, cosine, concatenate, all these kind of spreadsheet formulas, right? You can use them within Data Studio to create new fields. So let's go through a couple examples of fields, let's say four fields that I created based on this simple Twitter data of just like followers, followers, following, tweet count, stuff like that, um, to demonstrate how this works. So. Let's see. So for days active, for example, um, we might want to know how many days out of all of this Twitter data that we have did a certain username tweet? Are they active every day or do they only tweet some days? Pretty simple thing. Um, to calculate that, all we want to do is count the count of our dates. Um, and in this case, these are already unique, so we don't have to do unique, but we could say, uh, let's see, is count unique? No, count unique is not a formula. So we'll just say count there. So an important thing with any of these aggregation metrics, right? Count or sum, anything like that. Um, you can only do a count on, on the date column because it's not aggregated. There's no aggregation. So for example, if we did count of followers, I don't think that would work. Yeah, it gives us the error. Re-aggregating metrics are not supported. So if a metric is already aggregated, if it has sum or count or any of these aggregations, you can't re-aggregate it. We could say aggregation none um, and then aggregate it, but we don't want to do that because it's, we don't need to. So instead, we'll just count a dimension column. So we'll do count of date. So that's the simplest one possible. You're just counting how many times does this show up? What if we wanted to say, for example, this, this next calculated column, tweet density. How many tweets per active day um, did this user uh, tweet? So in this case, it's a much simpler formula. All, all we're doing is taking two metrics, tweets and days active, and dividing one by the other. So you can always do simple calculations like this. Um, and I find that in Data Studio, it's best to, if you're going to calculate a bunch of these, keep each of them really simple. So do one that's just tweets divided by days active, or another that's just a sum of, of follow of uh, favorites and retweets, you know, to get your total engagements, simple things like that. So followers, um, followers divided by following our follower following ratio, another simple division. 
And this is kind of a combination, but simple arithmetic again. If we want to calculate the number of engagements per day, we would do retweets plus favorites divided by days active. So this is an example of combining two types of metrics. We have retweets and favorites are kind of stock metrics that are in the data source. And then days active is a calculated metric in itself. So you can do calculated metrics of calculated metrics is, is I guess what I'm getting at here. Um, so similarly to kind of chart styling, I would really recommend playing around with these calculated metrics. Um, doing some of the simpler math like we've done here, uh, you'll pick up pretty quickly. And some of the more complex functions, I honestly always just go to the help menu and, uh, and look for help if I'm not sure how, how a particular function works. It kind of takes some, some trial and error. But those are calculated columns, really powerful feature of Data Studio and, and one that you can definitely take advantage of.